All right, we talked about the Super Falcons earlier, and Ghana, they will be facing each other. And we know that the Super Falcons of Nigeria will have a very busy June because the summer series organized by the U.S. national team, uh, talking about the women now, will be from 10th to 16th of June. And the Super Falcons happens to be one of the teams that will be taking part in that summer series. And now, CAF, after the draw, uh, just yesterday in Cairo, I mean, they've drawn Nigeria and Ghana together. And we know the qualifier is going to be between 7th and 15th, also in June. And the man who understands all this and how it's going to play out will join us uh, this morning. I'm talking about NFF President Amanji Pinnick and also a member of the FIFA Executive Committee to tell us more about this and how the Super Focus of Nigeria will be able to navigate all these uh, games. Good morning, President. It's good to have you join us. Yeah, good morning. It's always a privilege joining you guys. Okay, let's just go straight to the point. Now, the draws came out uh, yesterday, and all of us were actually surprised to see the Super Falcons of Nigeria play in the first round of the Africa Women's Cup of Nations qualifier. Usually, it starts in the second round, and you know we have qualifiers usually from September, October, but right now it's going to be in June for the Falcons. And, of course, the Summer Series is also coming up. Were you surprised when the draw was made yesterday? Yeah, I mean, not really, because um, um, you should understand the dynamics as it relates to women's football. It's grown beyond what you think, you know, so every country wants to participate. And, you know, the what CAF initiated um, some years ago is uh, qualifiers to the zones. And uh, I keep saying it, that football is in West Africa, you know, and... Um, we're going to be playing Ghana, which is a very tough team. This, um, these uh, two teams can play in the final of next year's um, outcome. But it is what it is, you know. So we just try and see what we can do in um, ensuring that uh, everything we set out to do is done good. Now, um, talking about the <clears throat> the USA Invitational, we we have sealed this since late last year, and um, because we were hoping, like you that Nigeria will not participate in any preliminary rounds, you know, and um, CAF, maybe because of the election, because of a lot of things going on, you know, did not give us an inkling or a hint as to whether there'll be a window in June, especially for Nigeria. So we went ahead because their calendar did not state um, any women's senior Men's football engagement in, in, in June. Yeah. So based on that, we decided to keep our guests very busy, preparing them for our cup, preparing them for the World Cup qualifiers. You know, and um, that was the first tournament we had in Turkey. Now we have an invitational in um, in June, and contracts have been signed, MOU have been sealed. So there's practically nothing we are going to do about that. We have written to CAF yesterday, and I'll follow up today. And I hope at the end of the day, um, they will see a reason why even this particular match between Ghana and um, Nigeria will be moved to July. You know, we are working really just assiduously towards that. And I believe CAF is all about world development. So if they see a tournament coming in America that will showcase Africa in a very, very high premium, I think uh, they will consider to it, you know. But personally, I will follow. I follow up. I, mean, I don't. I don't think they are that rigid, you know, when it comes to women's football or even men's football. So, I believe at the end of the day, our preparations are going to be intact. Um, I'm in touch with my girls. They, okay. They, they, they are excited about it. Some of them have um, some issues relating to visa from the various clubs in the US. We're also working on that, I'm trying to get okay. the okay. the US government through the US government. All right, Mr. Yes, President, yes. Uh, we'll, we'll, you, we'll get back to you immediately after this short break. We need to go on a very short break right now. We'll get back to you after this. All right, we still have the uh, NFF President Samadji Pinnick with us uh, talking about how Super Falcons will be able to navigate the game between G Ghana 
and Nigeria, and of course, the U.S. summer series. And Ty was talking about, you know, he's in touch with them, mm -hmm. and of course, this visa, the visa, visa problem have been sorted out. Yeah. You know, some of the girls, the clubs have released them. Of mm -hmm. course, we're certain that that would definitely take place because mm -hmm. the contract has been signed since last year. Mm. It's, a, it's a massive opportunity that cannot mm. be missed. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, regardless of whatever situation uh, that we have on our hands, and, and the president's already talked about, uh, uh, you know, talking to CAF and seeing if perhaps uh, that fixture against Ghana can be moved uh, to July. Uh, but president, what if, let's just say, uh, you fail uh, to convince CAF uh, to move that fixture to July, um, is there a chance uh, that perhaps you might have to raise two different teams to prosecute uh, these uh, very important fixtures uh, for the Falcons? Well, um, I, if you know me, you know that um, I'm fixated on one direction. And in that, that direction, I don't believe it. I'm not believe it. I'm quite optimistic that um, this will happen. And um, uh, we've given reasons, and the reasons are quite cogent, you know. And um, we believe that this will certainly come to pass. Going by going to your question, you know, in reality, it, it, it might just end up being a festival of female football in June, you know, mm -hmm. because um, if at the, the, the worst case scenario is difficult to convince them, then it means we have to. It's, have to have two set of teams. One will go to the US, and the other will play the 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 the, the qualifiers. But we're not going to joke with the qualifiers because um, we are playing Ghana, you know, mm. and Ghana is not a team you will just uh, explore in the park. No, Ghana is one of the teams in women's football in the country. So we're going to take it very seriously because we want to retain um, the title. But you know, for female football, so to speak, they've gone beyond, like I said, what we normally comprehend, what we normally say. You can easily beat a team two, three, four, five, six, zero. Not anymore. It's tough mm -hmm. because um, it, there, there's a lot. And um, going by the last um, Nigerian Women's League Super Six played in Abiyokuta, um, Jebode, Jebode. throughout. Yeah, and um, I saw the quality of girls, of our girls, our women. They played very good football. And um, that gave me a lot of hope, or gave them a lot of hope, a lot of hope that um, we can have only three teams in the Super Falcons, you know. Mm. So um, we, 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 are, we are working on that as a plan B and a plan C. Yep. But I'm very pleased that we'll get this through. Personally, I'll follow up with that. This morning, later for Friday, I believe. We'll okay. Get a very favorable. Is that correct? Okay. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I mean, we're having. Uh, it's very. It's very difficult to hear you uh, right now, oh, Mr. President. We thank, one thank you so much for taking our time mm -hmm. at talk to us this morning. How the Super Falcons will be able to navigate this uh, busy journey, mm -hmm. and hopefully, and the prayers is that. Uh, <laughs> CAF will definitely heed to it because you're so optimistic about this and CAF will have to be, uh, move Nigeria game to July so that we'll be able to take part in it. Or as you mentioned, we have two teams that will prosecute the, both, uh, both the qualifiers and, of course, the summer series. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.